Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question on reverse linked list. Okay, so let me explain with this example, one, two, three. So this is a classic algorithm to reverse the linked list. So I think you need to memorize so that you can apply the same idea to other linked list uh, when you reverse linked list. So uh, first of all, head is one, and uh, we create a node, start with null. And uh, first of all, uh, we want to keep head.next, that means two. So we keep two with temp variable. So the reason why we keep uh, no, uh, head.next is that, so this is a linked, a reverse linked list, right? So that means we want to uh, disconnect uh, this link and then create a new link to uh, like a left side. So um, one is a last node and uh, one dot next should be null, right? So that's why we want to create uh, this link so now we don't have this connection, right? So it's hard to uh, move uh, from node one to node two, but uh, we keep uh, node two at first. So in the end, we can update head with temp so that the head uh, can move to uh, uh, node two from node one. So that's why we need to keep uh, node two at first. And then, um, as I told you, uh, we want to keep this uh, not we want to disconnect uh, this link and uh, create a new link here and uh, so that's why uh, head dot next should be this node so new right so that is the second step and the third step is update this node with head so node is now one and then at last uh, step four update head with temp so that uh, this head can move to node two, even if we don't have this connection. So now, um, like this. So we repeat the same process. So first of all, uh, keep head dot next. That is three. Uh, so keep three with temp. That's because we want to disconnect uh, this three, and then create a um, new link to like this. Um, so. That is a head dot next should be um, this node, right? So that we can create uh, this link, and then after that, so update node with head. So now node is here, and then um, update this head with temp variable so that uh, this head can move to three, even if we don't have this connection. And then again, um, keep head dot next. So that is null, right? So now uh, temp is null. And then next, um, we want to create uh, this link. So uh, head.next should be null, right? And then after that, um, update node with head. And then at last, update head with um, a temporary variable, null. And now uh, head is null, so we stop iteration. So look at uh, this linked list. All we have to do is just return this node, right? So that uh, uh, we can uh, iterate through like a three, two, one, node. So completely uh, reverse linked list, right? So uh, at first we have one, two, three, and a node. And now we have three, two, one, node. Looks good. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a node and start with null. And then let's iterate through linked list. So while head is not null, in the case we keep going. So first of all, uh, keep head.next with temp. So head uh, temp head.next. And after that, update head.next with a node. And then a uh, third step should be node, update node with head. And after that, um, this is our last step, update head uh, with temp variable. And then after that, uh, return just node. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, uh, where n is a number of nodes in the linked list. And the space complexity is, I think, 01. We don't use an extra data structure. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.